Good job! Yeah, way to go! High five, dude! Those are some ways that I like to tell my students at school, hey, you're doing awesome. It's just a little bit of encouragement. Now I want you to think about somebody who you know or love. What do they do to give you encouragement? How do you know you're doing the right thing? It's usually by their words, right? And sometimes their actions. I know when sometimes when my daughters do something and I don't even say anything to them, I just grab them and hug them. That's my little bit of encouragement, right? So that's what we're going to focus on this week. I think encouragement is really what we all need right now. Hey, we can do this. We're strong, right? Exactly. I know that's how the disciples were feeling when Jesus, when they saw Jesus um, after they were fishing and they came up onto the shore. And that's part of our Bible story today is actually when they came up to the shore, they actually got to have dinner with Jesus. And they started talking to him a little bit about, well, you're gone, but you're here. And what are we supposed to do now? You know what Jesus encouraged them to do? Give encouragement to those around them. Love them. Take care of them. Show them what Jesus was all about. Love one another. So this week, we have a really fun activity for you. We've got a little jar that we want you to fill with mints. And a special note. So you can give encouragement to someone that you love or somebody that you just know. Maybe it's your neighbor. Maybe it's a friend that lives down the street. Maybe it's your mom and dad. Maybe it's a sibling. Let them know how much you love them and give them some encouragement. Tell them, hey, you're doing a great job and I love you because that's exactly what Jesus would do. I love you, friends. Thank you for all you're doing. You are wonderful, wonderful kids, and I can't wait to see your sweet faces again.